Okay, take a look at these M&Ms. Do you like M&Ms? I love M&Ms. They're so good. Okay, take a look at these sentences. I have many M&Ms or I have lots of M&Ms. What's the difference between these two sentences? Which one is right? Well, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you. Hey, if you like getting tips like this, I would be so happy if you subscribe to my channel right down there. Okay, so the answer is they're both correct. Both of these are correct. The difference is that most English learners say this. They say, I have many M&Ms. And most native English speakers, especially here in Canada and the US, say this, I have lots of M&Ms. I have lots of. Okay, so native English speakers use lots and English learners use many. So in this lesson, I want to teach you why lots is better than many. You might be surprised. Okay, now I just want to mention that lots and a lot mean the same thing. They mean exactly the same thing. Okay, so in any situation, you can use lots or a lot. It's your choice. Okay. For example, I could say, I have lots of subscribers here on YouTube. Or I could say, I have a lot of subscribers. Okay, so I could use this one or I could use this one. Hey, thank you to all my subscribers. You guys make my life great. I'm so happy. Okay, so how many, how lots of? Okay. In this situation, we always use many. We have to use many. So this is wrong. You can't say how lots of. Okay. This is asking a question. You know, I could say how many, how many cars do you have? How many cars? Okay, then I have to say many. I can't, I can't say how, how lots of. Okay, so that is wrong. Okay, so um, like this, look at this. How many M&Ms would you like? How many M&Ms would you like? You should say lots or a lot. Okay, you should say one of those. You should not say many. If I ask you, how many M&Ms would you like? And if you say many, then I know you're not a native English speaker. I know that. Okay, so, so you should say lots or a lot. That would be much more natural in this situation. Okay, now I want to tell you a secret. Are you ready for the secret? It's great. Okay, so a lot of English learners get mixed up between many and much. Many and much. What's the difference? Okay, they say things like this. I have many money. I have many money. Okay, that's wrong. It's wrong because you cannot count money. We use the word many with things you can count. Okay, you have to say this. I have much money. I have much money. Because money is just an idea. Like love. Right? You cannot count love. You can't say, I have many love. No, that, that, that doesn't make sense. You have to say, I have much love. Okay, but for things you can count, like coins or bills, if you have some $5 bills in your wallet, you can say this, I have many coins, okay? I have many coins or I have many bills, okay? You can't say much here, I have much coins or I have, have much bills, okay? So if you can count them like cars, then you have to say many cars. If you cannot count something like water, you have to say much water or much love. Okay, now the secret I want to tell you is that you can forget about much and many and you can just use lots. You can use lots in every situation. Isn't that exciting? Look at this. Lots of cars, lots of water, lots of coins, lots of love. Wow, that is, that makes your life so easy. I think this tip will really help you because it does two things. It It's easier and it's more natural because native English speakers talk like this. We don't say, we don't say many cars or much water. We say lots of water 
or lots of cars, or, you know, we use this, lots or a lot, okay, both of those, okay. So, how much and how many? We have to use many in this case. If, if you're asking a question, right, how much does this cost? Then you have to use much. How many, you know, how many pieces of cake have you eaten? How many pieces of cake have you eaten? Right, then we have to say how many and how much. Okay, so in this situation, you cannot use a lot or lots of. Okay. Now, I want to teach you another thing that native English speakers say quite often. Right? And that is quite a few. Quite a few. Okay, um, let me think of an example. I have quite a few exams coming up. I have quite a few exams coming up. Maybe you're a student and the end of your semester is coming in a few weeks, right? Then you could say, I have quite a few exams coming up. This semester is really busy. I've got like six or seven exams coming up in a week or two weeks. Okay, so that's what this means. Quite a few. That That's sort of another way to say many. Okay, um, how many fillings do you have in your mouth? Look, this is a filling. This thing in your tooth, that's called a filling. Okay, so how many fillings do you have in your mouth? You could say, mm, quite a few. Quite a few, I think. Um, maybe six or seven? Yeah, I have quite a few fillings. Okay, um, now, I just want to stop and show you these two words. Quite and quiet. This is a very common mistake. Even native English speakers sometimes make this spelling mistake. These are two different words. Okay, this is quiet. Shh, quiet. Okay, this is quite. <laughs> They're the two different words. You need to pay attention to spelling in English. Now, I want to give you another example of, of why spelling is important. I recently made a video outside in the snow uh, where I made a snow angel. Look, here's a snow angel. And a lot of people who commented on that video said angle. Most of the people said angle. There were only a few good students who said angel. Okay, most of them said angle. They're different words. Okay, this is an angel. An angel is a person or a, a creature in heaven with wings and maybe plays the harp. I don't know. I don't know what angels do. Okay, but that's angel. That, that thing there, that's, that's an angle. Okay, so this is a 90 degree angle, right? A 90 degree angle is called a right angle. And if we close the angle a bit, then it might be a 45 degree angle, okay? Or maybe a, a 10 degree angle. Okay, so, so that's angle and that's angel. It's a different spelling. It's a different pronunciation. Listen, angel, angel, angle, angle. They're completely different words. Okay, so take a look at these these ways, you know, that, that, that English speakers use to talk about a quantity of something. Okay, tons, lots, quite a few, a bunch, a handful, a couple. Okay, uh, like I could say, there are, uh, there are tons of mosquitoes in here. Mosquitoes buzzing around. Zzz. There are tons of mosquitoes. Okay, that means a lot. Okay, so tons is like the most, right? And then as lots, that also means that, but it's a little bit, maybe a bit less. And then quite a few, a bunch, a handful, and a couple. Okay, these, these down here, these just mean a few, a handful, or a couple. There are a couple of mosquitoes flying around. Just a couple, that means just a few. Okay, so how do we know, you know, what, what the difference is? How do you know which word to choose in, in English? Well, I think it, it, it depends on your level of certainty. Your level of certainty. If you're very certain about something, and if, if you're maybe, you're uncertain, or you, you sort of have a vague idea. Vague means, means uh, not clear. Not clear. Hmm. It's a bit, a bit vague. 
Okay. Take a look at this example. How many girlfriends has Jack had in his life? How many girlfriends? Do you know how many girlfriends has Jack had in his life? If if Jack has had lots and you know it, then you could say he's had tons. Jack has had tons of girlfriends in his life. Maybe 15 or 20 girlfriends, right? Um, but if you say quite a few, that also means lots, but it sort of has this idea of being a little bit less sure. You're a little bit less sure. Hey, how many girlfriends has Jack had in his life? You could say, hmm, I think uh, quite a few. Yeah, quite a few, I think. I don't know, maybe nine or 10 or 12. You're not sure. It's, it means that you're, you're a little bit more, it's a bit more of a vague answer, unclear, right? And then also with this one, a bunch. A bunch is a way of saying many, but it's also a bit vague, right? You know, how many girlfriends has he had? A bunch. He's had a bunch. You're not sure exactly how many, but you think, you think it's quite a few, right? It's a bunch, a bunch more than me, more than usual, more than a normal person. Okay, um, or you could say this, okay, how many times have you gone skiing? How many times have you gone skiing in your life? Um, you could say just a handful of times, just, just a handful. Okay, a handful, you know, maybe, maybe four or five times, just, just a handful. Okay, or you could say just a couple of times, just a couple of times, right? That means just, just a few, right? The word couple can mean two or it can mean a few, like maybe three or four. Okay, how many times have you gone skiing? Yeah, just a couple, couple times. Now, very often when people say couple of, they, they, they take out the word of. I'm not sure why. It's something native English speakers do. So they would say just a couple times. Some, sometimes, not always. Sometimes they have the of. Like usually when I, when I say this, I say the of. But a lot of other native English speakers take it, take it off. A couple, a couple times. I've been skiing a couple times. Um, or you could say, I could say, um, you know, how many beers, how many beers have you had? You could say just a couple, just a couple, just a couple beers. Hey, want to come over to my house for a couple beers? When I want to come over to my house for a, I don't know, a couple, uh, <laughs> anything, right? A couple games. Let's play a couple games. Let's play a few games, right? So, so just want you to know that very often people take out the of, but really it's there. They're just not saying it. They're not saying it. it's right to say couple of, but sometimes native English speakers just take out words for no reason. Okay. So, you know, this lesson is already getting pretty long. Um, I could give you a lot more examples, but, but I don't want my lessons to be too long. So, so let's just do some homework here. Okay. I want you to pick one of these and make a sentence with it. Okay. A ton, a handful, a bunch, or quite a few. Now, just want to mention something about this. Remember the difference between a lot of and lots? They mean the same. There is no difference between lots and a lot of. It's the same with tons and a ton. Okay, tons, a ton, they mean exactly the same. You can use whichever one you want. Okay, so pick one of these and just try to make a sentence with it. Post your sentence right down there in the comments and I'll see you guys over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.